Hello, darlings. I wanted to talk today about a few like health type things. I work for an amazing doctor who does everything the holistic, natural way. She's fucking phenomenal. Okay. And I've learned a few tricks over the, over the years under her tutelage. Um, first I was her patient. Now I work for her running a biofeedback machine. But one of the things that I see on my little machine that I want to touch on today is a lymphatic drainage issue that we all have. Okay. So again, I'm not a doctor. I slept at a holiday Inn express once. Lymph system does not have its own pump. Your lymph system is responsible for carrying away toxins, okay? Does not have its own pump. It was designed by design, I guess I should say. It works through the movement of our bodies. We are kind of a stagnant society right we don't get up and run and do and go those most of us sit behind computers all day long doing this the most we do is this our lymph systems get backed up let's not i, I won't i won't go too much into the fact that it's our diets because we're full of sludge and blah, 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 blah. won't go there. So what I want to talk about is getting that lymphatic system moving, getting that lymphatic stuff moving in your body okay so there's a thing they're called a dry brush it's about yay book but yay big looks kind of like a horse brush short bristles they're really prickly and the concept is is that you brush your body you brush towards your heart okay and that stimulates that lymphatic system that sits right below our skin to move some of that lymph and then 10 minutes later, you go get in your hot shower and it helps stimulate everything to move, okay? So dry brushing is a great way to do this. Um, you could do the Nakona style because I never remember to do the dry brushing 10 minutes before I get in the shower. When I'm done with the shower, still wet, I have organic coconut oil in a tub in my shower. In my organic coconut oil, which is a five to F, five to eight SPF all by itself. And uh, I add carrot seed oil, peppermint oil, and lavender oil, which can boost it to 30 to 35% SPF. Just saying, natural way of having some sunscreen. You gotta still keep reapply reapplying it though. So don't forget that. I slather myself with the oil and then I use my hands to massage my entire body towards the heart. Everything goes towards the heart, okay? From the feet up, legs, get your pits. Those have a lot of lymph, lymph nodes and lymph backs up in those areas. Girls, get your girls. Again, toxin backup area. But that just kind of helps stimulate that lymphatic system to help your body move toxins on. Lymph 
massage. If you know of a, if, if, if you know of a, a masseuse who does like lymphatic massages, that's a great, great avenue as well. Things we can add to our diet that will help eliminate toxins and toxins and toxin buildup are very, very huge in our society right now based on the foods we eat, the water we drink. I mean, water out of our tap has so much crap in it, contaminants. Chlorine. What does chlorine do? What does chlorine do? Chlorine kills things. Why the fuck is it in our drinking water? Just saying. Okay, um, we'll go on that soapbox another time. Uh, <laughs> can you tell I'm a little passionate about this? And dandelion is the best thing you could possibly put in your mouth, by the way. Y'all, seriously. Go uh, find some fields where people aren't spraying crap and get dandelions. Put them in your salads, make tinctures, all of that stuff. Anyway, dandelions will help move those toxins out of your system. Grabs onto them, moves them out through the digestive system. Lymphatic drainage is an issue for at least 80% of us. It just is. Me included. Not gonna lie. So, it's one of many ways to help. Oh, and by the way, this, you know the waddle under here? Let's lymph back up. So if when you are slathered in oil and you were to massage this, good, keep doing it helps do that backed up lymph on anyway all right uh love you hope you guys have a fabulous day Bye.